hello welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here you're welcome you're very much welcome and if you're a returning subscriber oh my god thank you so much for always stopping by so in today's video as you can tell by the title i'll be teaching you how i made this beautiful satin bag if this is something that interests you if this is something you want to know how to make definitely this video is for you just keep watching and I will see you soon. Welcome guys. So for this video, what we'll be needing, we'll be needing the satin fabric. So this is the satin fabric I cut out. This is 19 inches by 8 and a half inches. So this one over there is also the same thing as the first one. It's the same thing, but the difference is just that I added a paper stay to it. So I just added a paper stay to it. That's just the only difference. So this is my fabric. Then I'll be joining the two right side facing each other. The right side facing each other. I'll be joining it by half inch over there with an half inch so after joining this is what i have then i'll be flipping it over then i'll be ironing it out so after ironing this is what i have over here then i will fold it in this manner just like i folded my fabric and i will sew like that so this is what i've done after sewing then you open it up you make the sewing to be at the middle then you sew at the lower part also so after sewing this is what it will look like then we need an opening at this part that there is no interface so you measure one inch at that point one inch then measure another one inch then on the first one inch so what we are trying to achieve is just an opening so and this is what it will look like then at this point over here you fold it in form of a triangle You fold it in form of a triangle then you roll it out like that you do it for both parts you fold it in form of a triangle just like that then just sew a little so after sewing this is what it will look like then after sewing you trim out the excess so this is what it will look like then this our lining the plain material without the interface is serving as a lining so this is our lining you do it just like the way i'm doing then we have to sew you measure one inch on that side you sew around then you measure another half inch let me just use my chalk so you can understand you measure one inch then you measure another half inch or three quarter then you sew round you sew round so after sewing round this is what i have this opening this half inch opening is just for our elastic so you can make it more than half inch so that your elastic can move freely in it so you know the point we left the other time that will be the opening through which we will pass our elastic as you can see the opening so make sure it is three quarter inches so that it's your elastic can move freely inside now we have to close up this open end over here so by closing it up we just fold it inside a little bit with so half inch then you sew so after sewing this is what it will look like this is what it looks like then you turn it out
So now let's fix our elastic. Yeah. So before we fix, fix our elastic, we need to add a a handle at the inside. So for that handle, we just need a tiny piece of this fabric, tiny piece just to make a tiny strap, just a tiny strap. So with this my tiny fabric, so I've made this strap out of it. The strap is just like two and a half inch long. Then you locate the side of the bag. Then you fold it in that manner. Yeah, you fold it in that manner. Then you sew. You sew at the line. At the line you've made previously, all those two lines you've sewn at that point, just choose one out of it, then you sew, but it's preferable you choose the one at the lower part. So you just sew in that manner. Just sew on the line so you don't have different stitches at that point. So after sewing, this is what it looks like. Make sure the strap is facing up. And you see, I sew it on the second line. Then you can trim out your SS, the SS fabric. As you can see, it is sewn on that line. On that line. Then you trim out your SS fabric. So the next thing to do now is to add our elastic. Let me measure the elastic. As you can see, the elastic is folded into two. It's folded into two, and we have six inches, which that means the elastic is 12 inches. But I later reduce the elastic to 10 inches. So if you want to make yours with the same measurement, you just use 10 inches. Then you pass it through the opening. I would advise that you make your opening to be a little bit wider, like three quarter inches instead of half inch, so that the elastic can move freely. So after that, you sew, you make a knot with the elastic. Let's make a knot and make sure the knot is, is very small. Make sure the knot is small. Then you release it, you allow it to go inside. My own knots couldn't enter inside the O because the O was small. So if your own opening is like three quarter inches, definitely the knots will enter. But mine didn't enter very well. So this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like for now. So now I'm just adding my shin. You can just buy this shin from those people that sells bag. Or if you have any shin at home, you can just use it. So now it's time to fix our bead. So I pass a needle and thread to the side part of the bag. Then I'm fixing my beads. So I use two colors of bead, white and silver. If you have a bigger bead, you can use it. But this is the bead I have at home when I was making this video. If you have a bigger bead, you can use it. And if you have a single color too, you can use it. But me, I mixed the white with the silver and they were small beads. So after that, I went ahead to fix my press button. At the midpoint of the bag just to make sure it closes just to make sure it closes whenever i carry it so as you can see this bag is looking big i 
put some fabric inside just to give it shape yeah so this is what the bags look like the bag look like and this is really really very beautiful when i was making this video it wasn't looking beautiful in my eyes until i finished making it i added everything it's not looking really really nice so guys if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please 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 subscribe to my youtube channel please follow me on instagram and if you make this bag just tag me on instagram and i will repost your video thank you so much for watching please like comment share engage with this video drop a comment at the point you don't understand and i will reply you as soon as i get the message thank you so much for watching once again if you haven't subscribed please just subscribe hit that subscribe button it doesn't bite thank you so much and i'll see you in my next video bye